Now we're done with the hero section on our page. Let's go to the services section below. Select the first div inside the section. This will be our container block. Now go to the properties panel. From the class style selector, select container. Now click on inline. Go to the margin and padding section. For padding top and padding bottom, select 20. Now select the child element of this block. For this, we're going to apply another class style, row. From the class styles dropdown, select row. There is another block below, so let's add margin bottom as well. First, click on the inline as we don't want to change the class style of row. Go to the margin and padding section. For margin bottom, select four. Now select both child divs within this row block as we will apply the same column style to them. From the class style selector, select column. Now we have to apply classes for the responsive view. On the breakpoints tab, select large. Click on inline. Select the first div. Go to the properties panel. Go to flex container and for flex, select one. For the same large breakpoint, now select the second div. Go to the properties panel. Go to the dimension section. For width, select auto. When you're done, select all on the breakpoints tabs. Now let's work on the contents inside. Select the H6 element. Go to the properties panel. For color, select indigo 600. For weight, select medium. These classes will be used for other elements as well, so let's create a new class style. On the properties panel, click on the pencil icon where it's written in line. Enter subtitle. Now move to the H2 element. Select the H2 element. Go to the properties panel. Go to the text section and for size, select 4XL. For line height, select tight. For color, select gray 800. For weight, select semi-bold. For transform, select capitalize. Now go to the margin and padding section. For margin bottom, select two. Let's create another class style for these styles as well. On the properties panel, click on the pencil icon where it's written in line. Enter main title. The P element is left at its defaults as it will get the base color and font size of the page. Next, we have a link element on the other div. Select that link element. On the properties panel, click on class style selector. On the pop-up, select button. Let's move on to the div below. This should be a row block. Our row style has item center applied, which we don't need for this one. So we should go with inline classes for this. Select the div, go to the properties panel, go to the display section, and for display, select flex. Go to the flex container section, for wrap, select wrap. Now select all the child divs within this block as we will apply the same column style to them. From the class styles dropdown, select column. Now we have to apply classes for the responsive view. On the breakpoints tab, select extra large. Click on inline. We should make sure to keep all four divs selected. Go to the properties panel. In the dimensions section, for width, select 3 over 12. On the breakpoints tab, select small. Go to the dimensions section, and for width, select 6 over 12. When you're done, select all on the breakpoints tab. Let's work on the element inside. Select the link element. Go to the properties panel. In the margin and padding section, for padding top and padding bottom, select 16. 
For padding left and padding right, select 6. Go to the display section, select block. Go to the background and for color, select gray 200. For border, select the equal radius button, then select large for any of the radii. Now go to the shadow section. For box shadow, select large. Now we can add a hover effect. For the pseudo state, select hover. Go to the text section. And for color, select white. Go to the background section. And for color, select indigo 400. These same classes will be applied for the other three blocks. So let's create another class style for the service blocks. In the properties panel, click on the pencil icon where it's written in line. Then enter service block. Now select the other three link blocks. Press either control or command, depending on your operating system and click on the three link blocks. From the properties panel, click on class style selector. On the pop-up, select service block. Now we should work on the elements inside the service block. First, we've got a font awesome icon. From the tree panel, select all the icons in all four service blocks. On the properties panel, go to the text section. For size, select 4XL. For color, select indigo 700. Now go to the margin and padding section. For margin bottom, select 4. Next, select the H5 elements on all four service blocks. On the properties panel, go to the text section. For size, select large. For weight, select semi-bold. Now go to the margin and padding section. For margin bottom, select four. Similarly, select the P elements on all of the service blocks. From the properties panel, go to text section. For size, select small. You can create class styles for these elements if you'd like, but I'm gonna leave it in line for now. Next, we want to put a little variation into two of the service blocks. Let's select the second and last service blocks. Make sure you've selected inline classes. On the breakpoint tabs, select small. Go to the margin and padding section. For margin top, select 16. And margin bottom, select negative 16. For the last block, we don't really need a margin bottom. So select the last service block. Then for margin bottom, select blank. When you're all done, select all on the breakpoints tab. Now we're done with the whole service block. This concludes the first part of our tutorial for building a landing page with Tailwind CSS plugin. I hope the video was helpful. Stay tuned for part two of this tutorial, which will be coming very soon. If you have any questions, as usual, please feel free to contact us via email or through the Pine Grow forum. We'll be coming up with more videos related to Tailwind CSS and other Pine Grow related content, so keep watching and following. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you in the next video.